Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Sagittarius. This is going to be a you and them love reading. All of your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone you are thinking about and someone who is thinking about you. I'm recording this message for October, but I ask these readings to be timeless and have what you need when you need to hear it. So what is the heart of the matter for Sagittarius? What are you thinking about? Oh, bunch just want to jump out. What are you thinking about this? Oh my gosh, they're flying. What are you thinking about this connection, Sagittarius? What is going through your mind about this person? What are some things happening in your daily life could be affecting this connection? on your heart space? How are you feeling? How are you feeling? What intentions? Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. The cards are being like jumpy. Kind of intense energy here. What intentions might you have towards this connection? What intentions? And what is a potential outcome? Near future. October. Wow, we have the world on the bottom of the deck. It's wrapping up a cycle in a really positive way. I feel like there's a new beginning or something. Someone you're gonna be seeing or connecting with here in October in a really positive way. For some of you, it's someone maybe you haven't seen in a little while. So not everyone, of course, but it's just something I got with the world there. Okay, what's going on with your person? What's going on with your person, Sagittarius? What are they thinking about the connection? Oh my gosh, you guys are in the exact same energy and it's Sagittarius energy. What? You both have the nine of wands. Okay, I'm going to pull the cards and we'll get into that. Okay, what's going on in their daily life? What's going on in their daily life could be affecting the connection? Whoa! I don't know if you could see that card. It's just blue. Okay, what has gone on in their heart space? And that one just flew out. What intentions might they have towards this connection? Oh my goodness. And what is a potential outcome? Oh my goodness. Justice card on the bottom of the deck. Libra energy there and yeah, on the bottom of your deck, world. So a lot, a lot of major arcana kind of underlying this whole connection. Something coming into balance. Maybe wrapping up a cycle so that something really new can begin between the two of you. Um, there's some very tender feelings on the side of your person. I have to say, this person is it's really sweet on you, Sagittarius. But you may have some mixed feelings about them. Um, but... I won't get ahead of myself. We're just gonna get started with both of you having for the heart of the matter what you're thinking about the connection being the nine of wands. Sagittarius energy specifically for me as a reader, Aries and Leo as well, but this is our wounded warrior card. This is someone who has been through it, someone who has had some challenges, had some difficulties, maybe in this connection, possibly in this connection, since it's coming up on both sides, but it could just be other things that you're facing in your life. I don't know, sometimes we bond with each other because we're both going through so much that we can get together and really identify. But the nine of wands is when you've been through a lot, you feel like you're not sure, you know, what, um, what more you could take, what more you can do, but you want to fight for something. You want to take a stand and you take that, that ninth wand and you take a stand and, um, and you move forward. So I feel like both of you kind of want to take a chance on this, but there's some nerves around this. Um, I feel like you've both been through your share of things, your share of disappointments, your share of challenges in love, in life. If it hasn't been in this connection, if it's somebody totally new, then you've been through your share of challenges separately. 
but you both have some interest. You carry a torch for one another. These are wands. It's passion, it's interest, it's creativity, it's fire. Like you both are attracted to one another, but there's some nerves about moving forward here. You've got a strength card in your daily life, which makes me think that there's some sort of situation, could be this connection, could be something else, where you're really having to get into your reserves. You're really finding who you are. Leo energy could be significant, but it's fire. It's recognizing that your emotions are not a weakness, that they are a strength. Listening to yourself, listening to your heart, taking a stand for what matters to you. And it could be challenging in this time to, to take that stand and just trust your heart and to move forward. Um, but when you do, like there is a reserve of strength that is just, it's going to rise up within you to meet you and help you meet whatever it is that you're facing. Be it something in this connection or in your daily life. Like you have it, you have support. Um, your person has a six of wands, so a lot of energy, like fire energy going into this. Leo for me as a reader, um, Aries Sagittarius, of course, with the wands, but your person wants to make this happen with you. They want to, I mean, they want to impress you, they want to return after some sort of challenge or difficulty, like I said, maybe in their life or maybe between the two of you. Um, for some of you, this is someone where you may not have seen or talked to each other um, for a while. Obviously not everyone. It's completely different for all of us. But there could have been something where you felt like maybe it was, it was, it was over and now something's happened. Now this person is kind of popping up or showing up and um and you're looking at it from a new perspective like what's going on here is this you know and they they really want to make this happen with you in your heart space you've got the queen of swords that's some badass energy i love queen of swords and if you're in that heart space like with the queen of swords sagittarius it's like you know who you are you know what you want, you know where you're headed, you, you know how to create your boundaries, release what isn't working, speak into existence what you really want. And if you haven't been doing that, you're gonna be learning that or you're gonna be embracing that. Even maybe look up like the law of attraction and things like that um, because there's something about just speaking your truth and drawing to you like the highest possible potential. But you may be, because your intentions your intentions are so different from your person's intentions. Um, you may be really releasing something and making some tough decisions because your intentions are the death card. Scorpio energy could be significant. It's really transformation. It's releasing something that no longer serves in your life to make space for something that really does. But you may be making some, I mean, with the Queen of Swords and the Death card, you might be telling it like it is this month, Sagittarius. You might be drawing some boundaries and saying, this is who I am. This is how I feel. This is what I need. And you might even be willing to say, hey, if if this can't, you know, if this can't work or if you can't communicate or if we can't both fight for this like equally or or have fun with this it's like does it have to be serious all the time because there's a lot of serious energy here we can't have fun with this if we can't play and explore and just talk and just pick up the phone and call each other you know maybe this isn't maybe this isn't the you know the right thing um but whatever you do trust your instincts about around it something is transforming and i'm gonna pull clarifier on that but your person, they don't want whatever the case is. If there's something that you're thinking, you know, that maybe maybe it's not going to work out, this person really wants it to work out. They've got a king of cups in their heart space. And I mean, that's a perfect compliment for the Scorpio energy, Scorpio Cancer Pisces. This is also someone who, who could be very deeply in love with you. Obviously not for everyone, especially if it's a new connection, but there are some deep feelings and it's mature energy. This isn't someone who comes in with a lot of professions, like I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. You know, it's a, it's a solid, genuine, conscious choice to, to love. And, um, and to have a King of Cups showing up in the heart space, 
it is a, it is a really positive sign that this person has some very deep feelings for you. And their intentions, very interesting, are the Page of Cups. So you've got the death card. Something is being released. Something is being transformed. Something that no longer fits in your life. You're letting go so that you can have something that is new, that is right. And your person's got the Page of Cups. So I don't know if something went down between the two of you. If you had a conversation, if you said, I can't really you know, go on this way, I need to do this or that, like whatever your, the case is, because there's something that you had to be strong and something you had to be really clear about. Um, your person is like, but I want to have success with you with that six of wands. I want you to, to like me, to be with me. And I've fallen for you, the king of cups and the page of cups. So it's like they're flirting. They might be even like, blowing up your phone in October, you know, being all like, <laughs> being all flirtatious with that page of cups. But your energy is a little, a little bit different here with that death card. What's going on with the death card spirit? Show us, show us what's being transformed here. Show us We've got a seven of cups and a six of pentacles. There could have been some confusion in this connection because someone wasn't really doing their part. I mean, it could be something as simple as that. It could have been that you felt like you always had to be the one to maybe reach out and communicate or, or do things like that. And it could have just left you feeling kind of disappointed, feeling like maybe they had too many other things on their mind. They weren't really focusing their energy fully on you and you may have just said, you know, if you can't, if you can't make this work, if you can't do your part, then I have to do my own thing. And, um, and you've got a six of pentacles here, which is basically stating like, there needs to be balance here. This needs to be um, like we need to message each other equally. We need to communicate with each other equally. We both need to put in the effort. We both need to put in time, you know, I'm calling off work and you should call, you know, you've got to call off work. Like we've got to make time. We've got to prioritize. We've got to, we've got to make this work and not just talk about it. Not just being that seven of cups energy of maybe one day or maybe after this or that. I mean, it could have been that, that it's been a long time that you've been waiting for something and that, you know, this person is, it's like always on the verge of something and they're not taking the initiative. And so you've got to take some time. You've got to figure out what's best for you. The interesting thing is something is really shifting in the potential outcome cards. Um, and yeah. Okay. First of all, your person's potential outcome, they've got the seven of cups and the moon and the high priestess. Um, there's another one. I'll show that to you in a minute, but I feel like maybe they have been a little all over the place. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy um, with the Seven of Cups. I get a lot of Scorpio from that one, me. And um, and you've got the Seven of Cups here. And it's almost like maybe somebody's been long distance and they keep saying that they're going to take a trip or somebody's saying they're going to call and not calling. And they're having all these deep feelings on for you, but what is it real? does it really amount to if they don't act on it, you know? And so they've got this um, Pisces energy here with the moon, the Seven of Cups, a lot of confusion, a lot going on. They're definitely having deep feelings for you, but I feel like it's a little scattered. I don't feel like they've been communicating it because they got the high priestess here. Virgo energy for me as a reader, Pisces Cancer as well. Um, I feel like they've been kind of secretive about something. I mean, with the moon, the high priestess and the seven of cups, it's a lot of psychic energy. Could also be a lot of fantasizing because right with all that energy, we've got an ace of wands. So I do have to say this person could be fantasizing about you a lot in secret with the seven of cups, the moon, the high priestess and the ace of wands. Um, I do just have to say that because that's, that's in those cards, but with the Ace of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy coming up also with these cards, someone who may have been quiet, may have been secretive, may have been doing more fantasizing than acting, you know, may have been hoping and dreaming, but not really making something happen. 
might just take some initiative now with this Ace of Wands and tell you that they do want to make this happen. And this is an energy of being in the moment, being now, being present. And a lot of these energies, they're kind of they're a little dreamy, a little all over the place. What could happen? What could be? Maybe this, maybe that. But the Ace of Wands is like, let's do this. Let's do this. And so I feel like something is shifting here because for you, your potential outcome cards are a Ten of Pentacles, a Judgment card, and a Nine of Cups. Some, pe some people are getting together that have maybe been long distance, maybe been friends and not sure if there was going to be more and suddenly there's more. It's going to be different for every single person, but um, there's something that may have seemed like it taken a really long time that suddenly comes together because we've got a 10 of pentacles. This is people making a commitment and I feel like this person is coming in with this this Ace of Wands here to take some initiative to communicate. And you've got a Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, specifically Capricorn for me as a reader, um, taking some initiative to really commit to something, to follow through on something, to make, to make it count. With the Judgment card, this is when the whole universe kind of comes in and says the time is now. And says it's... It's like no more dreaming, no more fantasizing, no more planning trips we never take. This is happening. And it's like the whole universe is coming in to help this happen with that judgment card. And you've got a nine of cups. That's, this just makes you happy. Like happy as can be. Pisces energy, Scorpio and Cancer. Um, I feel like someone could have some very deep feelings for you with this king of cups. <laughs> And this page of cups, you know, flirting, talking, but not really acting on it, definitely takes some initiative um, because you've got with this Ten of Pentacles, the Judgment card, and the Nine of Cups, it's someone making a commitment, speaking up. Ten of Pentacles is, I want to be with you, you know? I want to, I want to see you every day when I wake up. Like, that's a Ten of Pentacles. Like, that is really truly building something and with the judgment card here it's like the universe is making this happen that's major arcana that's when the angels come in and say hey past is in the past the time is now for this new beginning and you've got a nine of cups like you're overjoyed this is a wish come true so there's something that is unfolding for you sagittarius in such a powerful way, but I feel like it's very connected to the fact that you said, it's like with this, with this death card and your intentions being clarified by the seven of cups and the six of pentacles, like no more fantasizing, no more wishy-washy, no more that we're going to do this or that later, you know, come in balanced, come in equal, come in all the way with this, you know, this pentacles energy, which is earth energy. It's actually doing something physical, not just talking, not just dreaming. Come in all the way, or I'm going to have to find my own way. I feel like this came up a lot in the Leo reading. Um, and you're being really clear, and it's taking some strength, because I feel like you really genuinely care about this person. Um, and I feel like they have genuine feelings for you, too. But it's almost like there's something that you make a choice for yourself, no matter what the outcome can be. And all of a sudden, something shifts, something changes. And... I feel like, I feel like this has been for October. And I mean, it doesn't surprise me. We're getting into, we're getting into Scorpio season soon. We're in Libra right now and Libra asks for balance and Libra asks for equal give and take. And Scorpio is willing to release and let go what needs to be let go of to transform, to transmute. So we're getting into that energy of October making those kinds of decisions. And if you make it from like a really high place, trusting yourself, doing what's best for you, it's going to work out. It's going to work out in your highest good. But I feel like it has been a bit of a theme to these readings. And I'm almost kicking myself for starting them all during the retrograde because we go direct, Mercury goes direct on October 2nd. But I really wanted to get all these October readings out early for you all for a change because 
feels like a very powerful month, but I'm probably going to do another round of readings here really soon because I want to see what the energies, how they kind of shift when Mercury goes direct and things really start balancing out because I feel like we're transforming. I feel like a lot of us are facing different things, things from our past, things that we, you know, that we just, um, can't put up with anymore and things, you know, areas where we need to know where we stand, areas where we need closure. It's like a lot is coming up around that and a lot is coming up around relationships. And I feel like a lot of people are just speaking their truth and finding their strength right now. And it's powerful because the final card in this reading are Ten of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Nine of Cups, which means a transformation, a commitment, and a wish come true. So trust yourself. Trust yourself, Sagittarius. Trust yourself this month. Talk to people who really support and uplift you. And, you know, get together with your people, the people you know, the people you love, and talk to them about what's going on in your life. I know that's been huge for me. And, um, and be honest with yourself and think about what it is you really want and communicate what you need and just watch things just kind of fall into place. We're all anchoring in some higher timelines right now. And it's by being really aware of who we are, what we deserve, and, um, and what we want. So that is what I have for you, Sagittarius. I do hope that something resonated. These are general readings. Not everything is going to be for everyone. If something spoke to you specifically and you'd like a personal reading, my website is charitygenice.com. I got lots of options. Love connecting with you all. And, um, it's a huge help to me if you like, comment, subscribe, share. Really, truly appreciate it. Love hearing from you all. Love connecting to you all. And I'll talk to you soon.